Hi, I'm Liam from Data School Cohort 20. Today I'm going to show you how to make a violin plot in Tableau. A violin plot is similar to a box plot, except that they also show the probability density of the data at different values, usually smoothed by what is called a kernel density estimator. For example, if we had 15 different chocolate bars at 15 different prices and plotted them on a straight line, they would look like this. A violin plot attributes the density of the chocolate prices to a peak in the graph. For example, the group of seven chocolate bars ranging from a price of £1.50 to £3 give this peak on the violin plot as seen here. So let's go ahead and make the violin plot. For the example, we're going to use 15 sample IDs ranging from values between 1 to 10. We will also need to scaffold the data with 99 points as seen here. To build the data set, we will drag the sample data sheet onto the view. Next, we will open the connection and drag the scaffold data into the view. We will join the data sets with a simple calculated field. This has the effect of exploding the data set. The violin plot uses complex calculated field, here labelled as kernel and evenly distributed scaffold values. In addition, the violin plot in Tableau uses two identical parameters called bandwidth and scaffold scaling factor. Their configuration is shown here. I will briefly open both calculated fields so they can be copied but links to the full workbook will be given in the description below. To try and understand what the kernel calculation is doing, let's have a look at the graph which it creates. The kernel calculation creates a normal distribution type curve the sample value, given by S here, will decide how far along the x-axis the peak of the curve is. Let's put kernels in with sample values of 4 and 8 as an example, shown by the peaks at 4 and at 8. And then put in a kernel where we can vary the sample value. The violin plot is made up by summing the y-axis values of each of the kernels. So let's add that graph. As the peaks line up, i.e. sample values are close together, the peak of the violin plot increases. This indicates there is a higher density of samples around that sample value. The bandwidth parameter, shown by B here, dictates the width of each kernel and therefore dictates how smooth the violin plot will be. The evenly distributed scaffold field calculation allows Tableau to draw a smooth line for each sample ID by creating 99 evenly distributed points per sample ID. Now, let's build the violin plot. First, we show the parameters in case they need to be adjusted. For this example, a bandwidth of 1 and a scaffold scaling factor of 4 have been chosen, but these will vary on the dataset used. Next, we convert the evenly distributed scaffold values calculation into a dimension and then make it continuous. And then drag that field onto the column shelf. After, we drag the kernel calculated field onto the row shelf. To double check the violin chart is being made from the correct values, let's quickly drop the sample ID field onto the color shelf. 
we can clearly see that the curve is being made up from 15. To finish the violin chart, let's swap the axis, duplicate the kernel calculated field, make the duplicate a negative, create a dual axis, synchronize the axis, and then make the chart type into an area. And there you have it, a violin plot made in Tableau. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you now feel confident to make a violin plot yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed the video, you'd love how to build a curved bump chart by my colleague McCall. Click the link on the screen to watch it next.